Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add click to call button to Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check out our new software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we add a click to call button on our Wix website? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to our Wix website here and go to our website editor. And from here, what we need to do is we need to have a space that we want to add our click to call button. Now, if you don't have enough space here, I recommend you to add a new section here. Just click on add section and click on the black section here. But for now, we're good for this one. And from here, we need to access the next website that we'll be using to add a click to call button now in this case what we need to do is we need to go to this website which is going to be offside.com now from this website what we need to do next is we need to uh, log in or create our account so make sure to create our account or log in as our account once you've done that you go to the top left here click on widgets and from here just type in the following which is going to be call this case you should be able to see the click to call option here let's go and click on it and from here what we need to do is we now need to customize our button now, in this case, there's going to be different layouts that you, you, you could choose from. So you could choose this one, which is at the bottom right of your screen. We have this uh, pop up here and uh, already pop up here. Now, in this case, maybe I want to use this format here. So let's go and choose that and click on continue with the template. Now, from here, you need to add your forward number as well as the button here. If you want to show the button icon. Now, also, you have the call window here. If you want to change that, like, for example, the image itself, the name, the caption here and the message itself. So if you want to format the phone number, you could also do that as well. Now, if you want to change the position, you could change the position to the left floating or in line. You can even change the settings here, like for pages, devices visitors and schedule even change the style itself you want to change the button color the uh, text itself so there's going to be a lot of customizations that you could do here but for now we are good with this one let's go and click on add to website and from here it should redirect you to the uh, next page which in this case a verification page but in this case make sure you need to make sure that your uh, button here or your widget is actually correct now once you verify that just click on publish at the top right of your screen and from here it's going to ask you to choose a plan that you want to use uh, or uh, basically you want to use for your uh, Elsa website here or for this specific widget in this case you could actually use it for free so this is just for testing, testing purposes which is a great way for you to test it so in this case let's go and click on select the free plan here and from here let's go and click on the copy code option now let's go ahead and go back into our website editor here go to the app elements at the top left here and from here go to embed code go to the embed html option here and go ahead and paste your code that you just recently copied this case go ahead and click on update here so if you don't see the, it updated i would recommend you to uh, remove the code itself repaste it click on update and that should fix the problem in this case you can even resize uh, the actual uh, look of your um, uh, widget here you can move it around if you want to so yeah so in this case you just need to reposition it and even save or publish it at the top right and you should be good and that's about it so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.